Yesterday was Halloween. How'd it go? What actually transpired for you? Oftentimes when we see a person go through a holiday, that's when we'll oftentimes see the narcissistic mask drop. Something disappears, something changed, something be a little bit different during that period of time. And oftentimes the narcissist mask will drop and you'll see the true monster underneath. Did that happen at all? Might not have happened just on Halloween. It might have happened for a birthday. It might have happened for an anniversary. It might have happened for Christmas or something that was special in your mind that got ripped away and destroyed because of the narcissist in your life. Oftentimes around holidays, special events, special occasions, you'll see the mask drop. You'll see the evil piece come out. You'll see the part that's negative start to rear its ugly head over and over and over again. Did that happen to you? Did you see that recently? You might have seen it around this past recent time with uh, Halloween, and you might not have. So we're going to talk a little bit about the mass dropping and oftentimes the mass dropping around different holidays or special events. Before we do, if you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor, self or narcissist on this channel to provide awareness of narcissistic abuse. I work with women who are trapped in toxic relationships, how to break the trauma bond, how to get rid of the triggers, and ultimately set themselves up for freedom. I work with men that have shown up as liars or abusers or cheaters, and as a result, trying to bring them back to truth. Not a whole lot to reach out, but that's also an option that you can do. If you're interested in any of that, go to rawmotivation.com. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, rate, or review. Just send something to someone else to help them understand a little bit more about narcissistic abuse and what it actually looks like. Oftentimes, people don't realize what narcissistic abuse is and how it actually manifests in a day-to-day -day basis, in a day-to-day -day life. And oftentimes, you'll see this happen inside of different special events, special occasions, where something will shift and something will be different. And all of a sudden, that special event and special occasion now has this big taint on it and no longer feels that special because of how it was destroyed by the other person. Now, this could be destroyed simply because there was a big fight or a big argument, right? Like putting a damper on everything that you just currently experienced. It could also be destroyed because the focus was pushed around. It wasn't pushed on that special person or that special occasion, but it was then all on the narcissist. Now, sometimes you'll have this with an overt narcissist that he wants all the attention. Sometimes you'll have this with a covert narcissist where he still wants all the attention, but he's playing like the victim or he's like hiding away and kind of everybody's like, what's wrong with him? You have multiple different aspects of this, but I want you to understand the reason why the narcissistic mask comes down is very, very, very similar across the board. The reason why it comes down is because the attention is not on the narcissist. And you're like, well, yeah, that, that seems a little obvious. But you need to make sure you understand every single event in your life and every single event in his life is all about him. There's not a place where you factor in of mattering. It's not a place where you factor in of like, oh, now he cares about me. Oh, this event, now I'm special. You've seen many of your birthdays completely ruined completely destroyed simply because he doesn't care about your birthday. He cares about the focus not being on him. He cares about you moving away or growing or developing you. He cares about him. So he's like, how do I control that to make sure that it's still about me? Narcissus is all about himself, all about his image, all about his money, all about what he wants in the moment. And so when you have these moments where the mass starts to slip or the mass starts to drop, it oftentimes is around these certain areas where the attention is getting taken off him. Now, it's easy for him to keep the mask up around the right sense of people, around the people that are just putting up with his BS, putting up with his image, putting up with the persona that he's putting out there. This is why a lot of times he's going to get along great with different people at work or even different family members that he's not around 24-7 because they believe the mask. They believe the version of reality that's out there. They believe that idea or that image of what he's actually saying or doing is true. So as a result, they keep ascribing to it. They keep going after it. They keep seeing, okay, this is who he actually is. But for him, it's like, well, they keep accepting me, so there's no reason to drop the mask. But when something happens where another person ghosts him or disappears or doesn't respect him or doesn't show up, like whatever it might be, like there'll be millions of different excuses of why he'll view no respect. A lack of attention oftentimes can look as a no respect and be a trigger for a narcissist. So he gets triggered and the mask comes down. You see the aggressive, you see the rage, you see the frustration, you see the anger, you see all the different things that start to pour out. And you're just like, where did this even come from? What is happening? What is going on? Well, it comes down to what he wants in the moment and how he's going to treat you and the perspective that he has. And it all comes down to him. So many times people think that it, it matters what they do or what they don't do in a narcissistic relationship. And it does to a degree. But the main piece is you weren't the deciding factor. He is what he feels, what he wants in the moment. Oftentimes manipulating and controlling you 
based on the situation, based on the circumstance. So I want to ask you today, like, did the mask drop over Halloween? Did the mask drop where you got pissed off because you were focusing too much time and attention on the kids? There's too many things like going on. He was too inconvenienced by having to go trick-or-treating, whatever it might be. Did the mask drop? What did you see? What did you experience? Whatever you saw when the mask dropped, that was the real version. Like many times people think like, oh, the mask dropped and then that, that's just him hurting. That, that's just him having a hard time. Uh, that's not actually him. Like that's just, he was just having a rough day. No, when the mask drops, that's who's actually underneath. That's what's actually there. Like, like when you go out Halloween and you and you get candy and you come back and the kids take off their costumes, you're like, oh yeah, that's my kid. That's what they look like. Not the costume, right? Not the crazy costume they were wearing. That's not what my kid looks like. This is what they actually look like because they took off the mask. The narcissist, when he drops the mask, it's not like, oh, oh my gosh, he's hurting. This is such a bad thing. Like he's just stressed with all this stuff. No, that's the actual version. That's the reality that's underneath. But you're not willing to actually see the reality. You're not willing to actually engage with the reality. You're not willing to actually see and acknowledge that this guy is the toxic guy that's abusing you over and over and over. But instead, explain it away. You minimize it. You push it aside saying it's not that big of a deal. When in reality, it's massive. But it's your unwillingness to actually see it, to actually understand, to actually know and describe to it. When you start to see the mass drop in a narcissist, you need to understand that that's reality. It's not a fake piece that just happened to get manufactured. It's not a weird piece that just is happening because of high stress at work. That's his actual reality. You're just finally getting a glimpse into it. And for the longest period of time, every time you've seen a glimpse into it, your mind has wanted to explain it away, to push the trauma, to ignore it, to pretend it doesn't exist, to run away from it. Whatever you have to do except actually be accountable to, wait a second, this is a bad thing that's going on. So the more and more you see this, the better in understanding that this aspect of him losing his mask, of him dropping a mask, of him showing his true colors, this was truly there. So take the time to acknowledge it, to see it, and to understand it. If you're in a relationship with a toxic guy, with a narcissist, and you've seen the mask drop, and you keep justifying it, and you keep thinking, well, it might not be that big of a deal, then I want you to jump into my master class just to be able to see some different ideas about it. Just have me talk to you about it so you can at least see a different perspective. So you can at least see some of the stuff that is happening in the relationship that's actually abuse that you haven't been willing to actually acknowledge. So if you were willing to at least do that, go to rawmotivations.com slash masterclass because I want to invite you to be able to do it. It's a free masterclass. You can jump in. You can see what's going on, how it's actually going because I want you to be aware of what's happening in your life. If you're not aware, you'll stay confused. You'll stay in the fog. You'll stay trauma bonded to this guy and you'll never leave. Go to rawmotivations.com slash masterclass today.